Hey guys, welcome to another pack opening video. Today I bought a Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box and a Pokeball Tin. Both of these I got from EB Games, as you can see the price tags on the top in Australian dollars. What we're going to be doing in this video is opening them up, seeing what kind of pulls we get. But what I'm really interested to show you all today is actually this Pokeball tin here and show you exactly what kind of packs you would be getting inside. Because on the front of the tin, it says that it contains three Pokemon TCG booster packs and one Pokemon coin. It doesn't actually tell you what packs are inside, so there's no way to know until you open it up. Now, if we're gonna use a little bit of logic here, we can tell what packs won't be inside here just by looking at the date. So if you go on the back, it would it says it's a 2021 Pokemon product, 1995 to 2021 Nintendo. So this would mean that because this was printed in 2021 and it is currently 2021, this tin could contain any packs from this year um, backwards. Um, so what I'm guessing is in here is a, probably a bunch of Sword and Shield packs, maybe some Sun and Moon packs, and maybe an X and Y pack from one of the X and Y sets. If we were to look at the, some of the older tins, on the back here it might say instead 2019 Pokemon, and if you saw any of those at the shops, you can pretty much guarantee that the 2019 tin will not contain anything from 2019 onwards to 2020 and 2021. So now that we have some idea what might be in here, let's use our trusty knife to cut into the side and see exactly what packs are in here. And we might even open them up as well, unless for say they are like flash fire, XY flash fire or something crazy like that. Very interested to see what's in here and opening the packs up. Alrighty. So, putting the rubbish to the side. This is a level ball. So in the Pokemon games, you can use this Pokeball to catch a Pokemon that is lower level than the current Pokemon you have active. But in the uh, the card game, this level ball, what it does is searches for a Pokemon in your deck that I believe is basic or under 90 HP. I can't remember which, but it's one of those. Okay, look at this interesting inside we have. Guardians Rising, Sun and Moon Booster Pack, Sun and Moon Base Set Booster Pack, and an X and Y Fates Collide Booster Pack. That's really interesting to see. We've also got a little bit of paper, and a Mew coin, look at that, Mew. It's a nice looking little Mew coin. Doesn't tell you the date the coin came in, so you don't know a newer coin or an older coin not really sure much about those we're gonna open these packs anyway the Sun and Moon the best cards in here we got some hyper rares and full arts of the Lunala Solgaleo I believe Decidueye Primarina and Incineroar also got some GX full arts in this Sun and Moon Guardians Rising, the Primarina, um, Decidueye, and Incineroar got Hyper Rares. And there was also a couple of the Island Guardians in this set, like the Tapu Lele and Tapu Coco in the Guardians Rising set. There's also a Como O. And in the X and Y Fates Collide, which is a much older set, the chase cards in here would pretty much just be any of the regular EXs or the full arts and there's some fantastic 
um, cards in this set. We've got the Alakazams. There's a secret for Alakazam. There's Zygarde. You can get a Reverse Holo Lugia. Lugia Break. There is an Umbreon EX and a Full Art Umbreon EX. And there's also a Glaceon EX and a Full Art Glaceon EX. So we might leave this one to last and open these two packs first. So we've got Guardians Rising. Let's see what we can get from these vintage packs. It's really nice to open up these you can get from the store and they're filled with vintage packs. It's such a nice feeling. Alrighty. So we're starting off. We got Fire Energy. Alolan Graveler, Pseudo Wudo, Rescue Stretcher. This was great in the time during the card game. You could put a Pokemon from your discard pile straight into your hand. And it's an item card, so you could play as many of those as you wanted each turn. Alolan Vulpix. The uh, regional variants back in the Sun and Moon sets. The regional variants, such as this Alolan Vulpix, had no energy cost. And we have a Proba Pass and a Gudra Holographic. The hollows in the sun and moon sets looked very nice. Looks like liquid. Nice little liquid texture. Although the hollow is actually a solid. Isn't that nice to see? Alright, so that's our Guardians Rising pack. We've got a hollow pull from that, so that's pretty good. Sun and moon base set. Now the pulls in here we're looking for are the Soul Galo Lunala. Either of those are the Hyper Rares. We're also looking for... The base, uh, the starters as well in their full art forms. So we got a Fighting Energy. Dragonair, there's a Dragonite in this set that looks pretty nice. Charger Bug. Crushing Hammer. Chinchow. Cutie Fly. Dratini. Spiro. Psyduck. Charger Bug. Reverse Hollow and an Incineroar regular rare. So we got an uncommon as the reverse holo. Unfortunately, that one wasn't quite as good as the pack before. The pack before we pulled a holo rare and a reverse holo rare. All right, our last pack in the Pokeball tin before we move on to the Shining Fates Elite Trainer box. Fates Collide Booster Pack. Just going to take the code card out, not to spoil anything here. And that's our rare. So the pack trick must be three from the back from the X and Y sets. All right, so let's go. Kabutops is the rare. We also have a Kabuto. Isn't that handy? We've got the Kabuto and the Kabutops. Pokemon Fan Club, Altaria Spirit Link, Lavatar, Bullaby, Minchino, Wisma, Goth Eater, and a White Kyurem Reverse Holo. So the Reverse Holo Rare, and looks really nice. Nice card here. Just a shame that we didn't get a Holo or a better in that pack since it was a vintage pack. But that's okay. What we're really here for today is this. Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box opening. So what I'm looking for is that Charizard. If we can get it, that would be fantastic. Open this up. So if you've watched any of my videos before or watched anyone open these Elite Trainer Boxes. It's a bit, quite a bit of dust on that. You'll notice that there is a sleeve which is outside of the box and then you've also got the player's guide with all the cards that are in the set. So we take the sleeve away. 
which was also a poster. We've got the player's guide, of course, with all the cards in the set, shiny ones, and the shiny V Maxes at the end. But what we are here for is the packs. What we've got in here is our 10 shiny Fates booster packs, game rules. We've got the Eevee VMAX full art card. Very nice looking card here. We've also got some dice, damage counters, deck dividers, a pack of energies, a code card for the Eevee VMAX, and some sleeves. The code card will also give you the sleeves for the online game. Let's jump straight into these packs here. Just make sure first that there is 10 of them. Let's just count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten Shiny Fates booster packs. Very exciting stuff. Let's jump straight into our first pack. We've got our sleeves ready here, just in case we pull something good. First booster pack. I think everyone here has a white code card, which means you're never going to know what's inside. Okay, we've got Grass Energy, Rusted Shield, Rotom, Cramorant, Coughing, Gossip Flow, Rowlet, Q Font, Spinarak. Reverse Hollow Professor's Research, which is the rare. And a Celebi Regular Rare. So that's a nice pull. We got the Reverse re reverse Rare Professor Research. Pack number two is the Charizard VMAX pack. Electric Energy, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Floatzel, Q Font, Weasel, Spinarak, Shinx, Coughing, Grim Snarl V, Shiny Full Art, and the Boss's Orders. So that is already quite a nice pull here, guys. We've got a Full Art V, straight into the sleeve. Wow, that's looking pretty good. It's pretty well centered as well. Not really big on grading these cards in this set. I'd just rather have them in the set to do the collection. But it's nice that that Grimace Null V there is well centered. Alrighty, moving on to our pack number three. We have, wow, a white code card. Three, four, four from the back. Fighting Energy, Rusted Sword, Luxio, Thwacky, Coughing, Trap Inch, Rowlet, Chewtle, Morpeko, Chewtle Reverse Hollow, a Galarian Wheezing Hollow Rare. So I might put the Hollow into a sleeve as well. It's not the best hit, but it is a hit nonetheless. That's three packs in. Let's have a look to see what's next. Seven packs left. This is pack number four. Fire Energy, Rusted Shield, Floatzel, Thwacky, Yanma, Trapinch, Nikicked, Gossip Blur, Cacnea, Bunnelby, Hollow, Shiny, and a Professor's Research Regular Rare. 
a nice little shiny pull. I think I already have this one. But a shiny card is always nice to pull from these sets. Lovely sets here, this Shining Fate set. Pack number five. Got a Psychic Energy, Flaitzel, Dartrix, Rotom, Snom, Trap Inch, Nikicked, Weasel, Shinx, Galarian, Rune Regus, Shiny, and a Dreadnought Regular Rare. So we've gotten another couple of hits, another Shiny, a couple of Shinies that I haven't gotten yet. Galarian Rune Regus. That's very nice. It's a cool little Pokemon here that evolves from Yun Mask. One of the black and white series Pokemon. Instead of evolving into the Cofagrigus, it evolves into Rune, Re Rune Regus. Rune Regus. Alright, pack number six. Five left. Darkness, Energy, Ball Guy, Team Yeltowl, Thwacky, Grookey, Yanma, Morpeko, Trutal, Eevee, Reverse Holo, Celebi, and a Decidueye Holo Rare. So that is a Holo Rare and a Reverse Holo Rare. Decidueye looks fantastic and the Celebi looks really nice as well. Let's put these all into a little sleeve. Nice couple of pulls here. Just lay them down there like that. We'll summarize our pulls at the end. Four packs left. This is pack number seven. Grass Energy, Rotom, Cramorant, Rusted Shield, Horsey, Yanma, Morpeko, Coughing, Gossip Flare, Zarud, Reverse Holo Rare, and a Dreadnought, Regular Rare. So I'm just going to sleeve up all the Reverse Holo Rares that we have, because the Reverse Rares are good pulls as well. We've got three packs left. Let's see what we can do here. Lightning Energy, Rotom, Floatzel, Tropius, Grookey. I can see something at the back here. Eevee, Morpeko, Tootle, Nikicked. Oh, Galarian Obstagoon, Shiny. And a Cinderace V. So that's a double whammy. Double hit pack here. We've got a shiny and a V. Wow, that's fantastic. Got some getting some great pulls here. We've got three baby shinies, a full art shiny, two hollows, and three reverse holo rares. And a regular V. Well, look at that. This box is looking pretty good. And we've still got two packs left. Fighting Energy, Floatzel, Rusted Sword, Dartrix, Boizel, Rowlet, Trap Inch, Snom, Grookey, Floatzel, Reverse Holo, Uncommon. Oh, and a Gym Trainer, Full Art. Wow, this box is really good. We've gotten so many hits from this box. This is crazy. Wow, okay. Uh, where am I going to put this? Here, next to Grim Snarl.
Wow, that's nuts. We've got one pack left. I don't think we can beat this. There's already um, quite a lot of pulls here. But there's some really great pulls. Four from the back. Last pack. Last pack magic. Psychic energy. Cramorant. Rusted sword. Gym trainer. Nikicked. Gossip Floor, Cacnea, Cufant, Weasel, Coughing Reverse Holo, and an NDD Holo Rare. So let's summarize our pulls here. I think we got all the Holos here, all the Shinies can go here, and then the standard set ultra rares and the shiny full arts so in 10 packs we got one two three shiny babies the galarian obstagoon rune regus and the bunnelby we got a grim snarl v full art cinderace v a gym trainer full art and three hollows the decidueye wheezing and ndd so that's three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hits in ten packs. And we also got three reverse holo rares. So we did quite well in this opening here, guys. Very nice pulls. Pretty pleased with this. Yes, we didn't get the Charizard, but this is still pretty good. If you guys want to open up some shiny fates, I definitely recommend it. Get them at the shops while they're cheap now. Finish your sets and try and get them before they turn into scalping supplies like what happened with Hidden Fates. Jump onto this set, guys. I highly recommend it. The artwork is fantastic. Good luck with this all, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you.